Having one arm makes me want to try harder. Having half of the equipment, you have to try twice as hard. People assume that he's not going to be capable. He rocks a few curveballs or sends one over the fence, <laughs> and they're like, dang. Hey, get baby, get baby, get baby, yeah! My name is Tommy Morrissey. I'm 11 years old, and I play baseball. When he was about a year, year and a half, we noticed that he had exceptional hand-eye coordination. He could track a ball and actually catch it. He's biologically right-handed, even though he doesn't have a right hand. He uses his right brain and his left brain at the same time. So he's very coordinated, always has been. <laughs> As a child, he got into every sport. If it was a ball sport, he was on it. He did very well in golf at, a, at an early age. It was really a natural segue for him to come into baseball from golf. He had a lot of early success. Well, I decided to stick with baseball about two years ago. And ever since, I'm just baseball all the way. Golf is a little bit more harder because your swing has to be so perfect that it hits the ball in the middle of the club face. With baseball, you just got to be ready for a pitch to hit and you have to be patient. I've known Tommy in about a year and a half. I got told by a couple of coaches that we had a guy that we need to see over here in the league in town. I went to see him one day and it was unbelievable. He's been in here working and it's really paying off for him. I really just like pitching. That's probably my favorite position to do. Today I was working with Tommy with his pitching and his balance on the mound as far as when he was throwing his pitches. What I like about pitching is throwing nasty pitches, striking the kids out and making them look silly. Bryce Harper really inspires me by going 100%. My dad tells me go 100% even if we're facing the worst team in the league. I really like Jim Abbott for pitching, obviously, because he has one arm like me. Jim Abbott put his glove under his arm and that's what I started to do. Tom is an outstanding baseball player. He's been an inspiration to our team. His baseball skills are as good or better than anybody in that age group. He's always been a very good hitter. In most of his rec games, he led his team in home runs. He was top pitcher on most of his teams. After every first practice that he had, he would ask me on the way home, he would say, Daddy, who's the best kid on the team? And I would give him the honest answer, this, this boy is. And he would ask for more time on the field. He would ask for more time in, in the cage. By the end of the year, he, he pretty much surpassed all those kids. It's that work ethic and that drive, be number one, that pushes him to places that he's gone. In my first at bat, first pitch was a strike. Next two were balls, and then I knew fastball was coming in the strike zone, obviously, and I hit it. It was a home run. It felt great to hit the home run. This is my first with this team, actually. I was 14 weeks pregnant when I found out Tommy was going to be born with one arm, and I was terrified of what life was going to look like, mainly for him. All of that fear was pointless. That child has defied all odds against him. Recently, we were at Cooperstown, New York. First game, first at bat, Tommy sends one over the fence. The umpire, the other team clapped and cheered for him as if he was their own. Hitting my first home run was the best moment I've ever had probably in my life. My dad was just crying. I wanted to cry too when I did it. What he does to inspire other people, he's pretty incredible. Inspiring people just really makes me happy. I know that I'm helping a lot of people. No days off means to me, go hard 100%, 24-7. Don't stop the grind and just keep going. The work that he's been putting in is really paying off for him in the long run, and it was really good to see that. He's unbelievable. In the future, I see myself probably going to the MLB, hopefully being a future Hall of Famer, and hopefully go to the All-Star Game.